Red 9 millimeter USA here. We have a new pistol here. This is a Sig Sauer Compact Nickel. It just came out. It was just released at SHOT Show. Laminated wood grips. Great checkering on the front and on the back. Coated in nickel. It is all stainless steel, so it does have a little bit of weight to it, which I'm thinking is going to help control the 45 ACP. Should be a good shooter. So we're going to shoot this pistol next. Okay, here it is. The Sig Sauer 1911 Compact Nickel. New for 2015. It's the first one that my gun shop had. They brought it out and showed it to me, and I just couldn't leave without it. So I have added it to the collection. Looking forward to shooting it. I like this Commander Carry-like style of 1911. I had two Kimber Pro Carries about 10 years ago, and I kept them for several years. I don't have them anymore, and I kind of missed them. So I am hoping I will like this SIG 1911. Okay, you can feel the 45 recoil a bit. The pistol is dead on, just dead on accurate. I chose to shoot at the small steel target down here. Okay, so these are the first rounds out of the Sig Sauer Compact Nickel 1911. New for 2015. The first three rounds were right on top of each other, and so I knew the pistol was gonna be very accurate. Recoil is pretty good. The pistol is a little heavy because it is all stainless steel. It also has the stainless steel barrel, which you can see right here. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 38 ounces. So it controls recoil real well. We're going to shoot it some more today. So far, I'm very happy. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Wow, it does have a little weight to it. So if you're looking for a carry only in the 1911, there's quite a few that are out there that are lighter weight than this, but it shoots really, really nice. Six hour 1911, compact nickel. So far so good, 100% reliable, which is always my concern with the 1911s. So I'm very happy so far. Beautiful checkering on it. Just looks beautiful. They're laminated wood grips. They definitely have some pretty good texture on it. The back strap is done too. It has a steel mainspring housing here and it has SIG night sights on it. Also, look at the flaring job on the magwell makes it really easy and quick to put magazines in. The Sig Sauer Compact Nickel. It's basically a commander size 1911. I really like the way that they uh, did the base plate. I think it's a Checkmate mag though, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Checkmate mags have not been the most reliable for us compared to Mechgar mags. So that was eight rounds, seven plus one. So seven in the magazine, and then you had one in the chamber already chambered. Yep. Nice. Points very naturally. Has a nice beaver tail grip. Let it get to me. Okay. Failure to feed, it looks like. Last round. Rack, rack, rack. Yeah, failure yep, to feed. Failure to feed it. This is blazer brass we're using. Reloading it.
Well, that was the last round? Yep. Okay. And is that the checkmate mag or what mag is that? That was the Wilson mag. That was a Wilson combat mag. So those mags are over five years old from my previous 1911s. This was a brand new mag though, I think. So we're just gonna have to keep on testing and making sure it runs 100%. So this is the Wilson combat mag that just had the malfunction. We're gonna be testing again with the same ammo and obviously the same gun to see if it has any more problems. Slide lock back, going to use the slide release, see if it chambers. Okay. Okay, functioned at that time. Good. Good job. Yeah. So maybe just a little break in hiccup there. Yeah. We're going to shoot it some more. Okay, guys, we're going to shoot the Sig Sauer compact nickel a little bit more. I'm kind of curious on how it does with other 1911 type magazines. So here's two Kimber mags that were new still in the boxes. These Kimber mags I bought like 10 years ago, but I had several of them that were still in the boxes. So we loaded them up and they're ready to go. We're going to try them in the Sig Sauer 1911 compact nickel just to see how they function. Okay, so here's the Kimber 10 year old 1911 magazine that I bought for my Pro Carry that I used to have. It says Kimber right on the bottom of them. So inside this mag well, it's going to kind of hide away a little bit. And that's it locking in right there. So you can see a little bit of a gap there. Let's see if it functions. Function. A little one handed shooting there, the magazine performed flawlessly so that's interesting that it feeds the Kimber magazine no problem a little bit of well of course the slide is open yeah it's still a little bit of a push to it there but it's still function flawlessly and locked open at the end it's an okay group for one-handed not too bad Good job. I'll take it for today. So here's the other Kimber mag. Again, 10 or 11 years old. Okay. I'm gonna try a little uh, left-handed shooting here. Okay, it functioned flawlessly. Uh, three or four rounds went right over the top of the head, so not much for a target there. So you don't have the smoothest trigger pull with your offhand. Yeah. You're pulling it no. a little bit up. Obviously, I need to train with it more. It felt good when I was shooting it, but all the rounds went right over top of the head. I was trying for headshots here, and several of them just sailed right over the top. I just kept on shooting. See if I could correct it as I was going. I'm glad it seems to function perfectly. So I need to practice a little more with my offhand, one-handed, with the 1911. Alright you guys, we got the factory magazine in it right now. I don't shoot much offhand, so we're going to shoot it offhand. I don't even remember the last time that I shot a 45 offhand. Not bad. What do you think? It has a little bit of recoil for me, but I'm not used to shooting again really with this hand. Yeah, you're shooting with your weak hand there. Yeah, right? so. 
I thought you did a good job. And, and actually, it's a pretty good group. Mm -hmm. I hate it when you outshoot me. <laughs> now nice. we're going to try out this Wilson Combat 8-round magazine. I don't know exactly which one this is, but it has a little bit of a different base plate. And it also has the round count on the magazine. So we don't know exactly what model this is, but we want to test out this Wilson. Another failure. <laughs> on, the on the last round. round. And this is a different magazine, you guys. But, but both of them were Wilson Combats, right? Yeah. That's just strange that both of them were on Wilson Combat mags. Yeah. It is strange that both of those were on Wilson Combat mags. Maybe it's just a breaking period. You know, some 1911s are a little bit more finicky during the breaking period. Headshot. Well, I'd say you hit it. Back. And I'm not sure if it is, but it could be me too, maybe just hitting the slide a little bit when I'm shooting with my thumbs. I don't know. I'm not used to shooting 1911, so I could be maybe hitting it and slowing down the action of it, mm. of the slide. I don't know. We're going to have to test it a little bit more with the Wilson Combat Mags, I think, though. It's a beautiful pistol. Six hour 1911 compact nickel. Just got five rounds here, finishing up the day. See if I can get a couple hits here. I have noticed that three times now where the extractor is grabbing the brass and flinging it right back towards me. And it comes- It happened to me once too. It comes back to my right shoulder. So I'm hoping that could be a little bit of a break in. The extractor's breaking in. I did have an issue with one of my Beretta 92s, the bitone one. There's a couple of videos up on that where the Beretta actually started ejecting the shells to my left instead of to my right. And I messed with it a little bit with the extractor, never sent it back and it uh, corrected its own problem. So. I'm gonna kind of watch that with the Sig Sauer Compact Nickel. All right guys, thanks for watching the first exclusive video on the Sig Sauer 1911 Compact Nickel. There are no other videos out on it on YouTube. We really enjoyed bringing it to you. It's a terrific pistol. We look forward to shooting it some more. Remember, your second amendment is worth protecting. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram.